How's it going everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here and I'm back with another thousand dollar mail day. Although that still won't be a common occurrence, this is a one-time thing, I will consider doing smaller ones. But as you can see I have lots of letters, some smaller packages right here, so let's get right into it I suppose. Let me put most of the stuff over here and just rip this one open I suppose and start off with this one. So, this time around I didn't have to wait that long. I mean, some of these have been lying around here for about, like, I don't know, three weeks or something. And I have mostly forgotten what I bought, as per usual, you know, as always. Let me just cut this open, there we go. Ooh, we can already see it. Very, very nice. Very nice. I can, I can just have that right here. The Rayquaza VMAX. You know, this is obviously from <laughs> Evolving Skies. Um, I don't know if this is the second most expensive car from Evolving Skies. It might be. I'm not too sure about this, but this one is amazing. You know, I did pull the Umbreon VMAX a while ago. And this is like the second most expensive purchase in this one. No, it is the most expensive purchase in this one. Right, about prices. So for this one... I paid 250 euros, and I guess I'll have the dollar conversion up here somewhere. And this is an absolutely stunning car, man. Okay, just looking at it in person, this looks really, really nice. It's also by Anesaki Dynamics, which is one of my favorite artists. So this is a great addition to the to the collection. There are going to be more alternate arts in these letters right here. Actually, so many that I have finally been able to complete my Evolution alternate art collection, which is really, really nice. Finally got that ticked off. You know, all thanks to pulling that Umbreon, probably, because otherwise I'd have to buy the Umbreon, and I really, really didn't want to do that. Here's another one. Nothing else in that letter. Just a Mewtwo V from Pokemon Go. Okay, getting that Mewtwo out of the sleeve was way harder than I'd like to admit, but there we are. Um, I have said it multiple times, I actually do not like the Pokemon Go set. It's probably one of my least favorite sets of the Sword and Shield era, but I love this card. This card is amazing looking. I actually really, really like this one. And this one I paid 25 euros for. And there are a few expensive cards here, but I think for the most parts, they're going to be rather cheap. But this one is an amazing one, and for 25 euros, you really can't go wrong with this one. Let's put you over here. Actually, no, I'm not going to use that sleeve. That was way too difficult to get out of. So you'll be there without a sleeve for now, Mewtwo. Um, let's open this one up, this little package right here. Um, this might be my package from China, actually. I think it is my package from China. I bought a graded card of China, actually, or of eBay, you know, from China. And this is actually an incredible special card. Uh, because I actually wanted to buy the gift box that this card comes in. But the gift box was kind of expensive, and so I said, if I just buy the card, I'm gonna save a bunch of money. And that's what I did. Just bought the card like this off eBay. I've been buying a lot of Chinese cards recently. But I do, the, I do like him ever since opening that that big gift box, the 25th anniversary gift box. I'm really in love with these Chinese cards. Oh, it's this way, okay. There we go, and turn it around. A CGC10 Lily. So there is actually a, as you can see right here, a Lily support gift box in China. Um, the strange thing is the gift box is actually really, really pricey. And I, you do get a bunch of extras, like you get a... or two cool playmats, actually. I think you get two deck boxes and sleeves and all that good stuff. Um, but this one, the price for this one, since it's a CGC 10, I actually didn't spend that much on it. Um, it's 150. I think I saw a box at cheapest for like 200. So this was a no-brainer, because the only real reason why I would buy that box was for this card. So now having it in a CGC 10, really, really cool. Um, funnily enough, um, I actually spectated a PSA 10 as well. And that one went for way higher than this, obviously. I guess people just like, um, like PSA more. 
than CGC. For me personally though, I, I'll probably choose, if I have the choice, I'll most likely choose um, CGC. Just because CGC, as with that one, tends to be way cheaper than PSA. That one was a very, very good example. Here we have the Golurk sneaking out. If I can get this, it must be taped somewhere. There we go. But I guess not. I'm really loving this new knife, by the way. I've been using it a, a couple of times now in my videos, and I really, really like it. That pointy tip is really, really good. But here we have the Golurk. Another cheap alternate art, actually. I think this was featured on my cheap alternate arts list. And this one cost me 20 euros. Really, really cool. Um, I've been wanting to pick this up. Actually, I have picked this up a while ago. Um, the copy that I picked up, though, was off-centered. Very, very off-centered. And then I ended up selling it again. Um, I have now a better centered one. I don't think centering is perfect, but it's really, really dang good. So here we are, and I love this artwork by Oswaldo Cato. This is a beautiful artwork. Great, great stuff, man. Okay, you can actually use the sleeve for this one. There we go. Put you right down here. Um, let's open another package. Let's open this one next right here. Let's see. All right. Opening it up and another envelope inside the box. Well, I guess that's a good way to keep things safe, eh? So what's in here? Is it only one card? It is only one card and it is the Miriam. Um, I actually did pay 30 euros and not 32. That's actually hilarious that there is a price tag on here. It's actually on the sleeve. Interesting. I've, I've never... I've bought so many cards. I've never had one come with a price tag. Um, here we are. The Miriam Special Illustration Rare. I've actually talked about this card in my last Collecting on a Mail Day or Collecting on a Budget video. And this one, as I've said, I did pay 30 euros for it and not 32.50. And I figured that was a good price. I did see a lot of copies at 25 euros, but the ones I saw were all um, very terrible off-center. This one actually seems to be, well, perfect, just at first glance. Seems to be pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to get it graded. This is going straight into my binder, but that's a very, very cool card. Love the illustration for that one. Man, very, very nice pickup. Love it. All right, let's open this one up next. Let's just rip it open and just hope the cart isn't taped. Well, I wasn't expecting the piece of freaking paper in here. It's like freaking offers at a local supermarket or something. Interesting, there you go. German supermarket newsletter. Um, another alternate art. As you can see, with most of these uh, mail days, there are going to be alternate notes, and that's probably going to continue if I choose to do more mail days, which I probably will, just not thousand dollar mail days. That's probably going to continue until I have my, my alternate art collection complete. But here we go, the Rapid Strike Urshifu V, one of the very rare Urshifus that I actually like. Um, centering for this one isn't perfect, but then again, I'm not going to send any of these cards in for grading anyways. These are just going straight into my binder. Yeah, I really, really like this one. I also like the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. That's also on my wish list, And I want to pick that up in the future. But here we are with that one. Let's just put that here. Um, let's open one more package. Let's open this one. So this is also from the Netherlands. I guess, no, I guess I have two more from the Netherlands. So I had three in total. I could have sworn I had one from, um, whatchamacallit, from the Czech Republic. But I must not have. Okay, let's just take it out of the side because I don't know where the opening is down here. Let's just take it out of the side. Very securely packaged um, with a bunch of tape and bubble wrap. You know, so far I've ordered a lot of cards and I've only really had one that wasn't packaged securely enough. Well, for my taste. Um, surprisingly, the cart still arrived safely, even after not being taped like or not being um, stored safe at all. It was just, I think it was just in a sleeve and then in an envelope, like no top load or nothing. Um, still arrived safely without being bent all the way from Portugal, of all things. Um, here we are, the Espeon Vime. Hang on. 
there should be a second card in there. Did I just throw that away? Okay, so I checked my order and I actually switched it up in this one. There is supposed to be two cards. So this one only one, only the Espeon. I say only the Espeon. Um, this is actually one of my my absolute favorite um, Evolution card, like next to the to the Sylveon. From the infamous Fusion Strike, a set known to be very difficult to get any pulls for, or get any pulls out of. So, you know, as per usual, I just bought the card, I'm not gonna be chasing anything. Jeez, I had so much bad luck with Fusion Strike as it is. So just buying the last card that I need. Actually, I don't know if that is the last card. It probably is. I have a bunch of cards from Fusion Strike. None of which I've pulled, all of which I've bought, because I can't pull anything other than the Sandaconda it appears from, from Fusion Strike. Let's open this letter next, I suppose. There we are, okay. Very good. Also very securely packaged. I like it. I like it. Right, let me just very, very carefully cut this right here. There we go. Okay, and here we have the Pikachu. And I think, what else is in here? Um, the Leafeon V, that's it, right, okay. So, first of all, this is the Pikachu V from VMAX Climax, a little bit older. Oh, by the way, I've completely forgotten. Um, for this Espeon, I paid a hundred and fifty euros. So then moving it on to this Pikachu, which does have two print lines, but that's very notorious with VMAX Climax anyways. Still looks amazing with the red in the background there. Very, very, very lovely. Um, for this Pikachu, I paid 30 euros. Let me put it back in the sleeve. And for this Leafeon V right here, I paid 70 euros. I also have seen cheaper options for this Leafeon. Um, same with the Golurk though, or with the Miriam. The ones that I get, did get pictures of were very, very off-centered. So this one, while it isn't perfect, it's better than any of the other ones I've seen. So here we are, with the Leafeon V. And this one should contain the last two cards. Um, if you've been paying attention, then you know, of course, it is the Leafeon VMAX. The last evolution that I'm missing for my collection. So let me just cut this one open and get to the to the last evolution and also a very very neat Mew card, if I do say so myself. All right, here we go. Black envelope, very secure. I've seen, I've noticed a trend. Um, they all seem to be packaging it into into. Bubble, bubble envelopes, or bubble mailers, however you want to call them. Um, how do I get this out now? This is like glued or something. Okay, there we go. I was fighting hard with that bubble envelope. Very strong glue, man. Very, very strong glue. Right. Let's get these two out of here. You can already see the Mew card. And then after that is the Leafeon VMAX. Let's get the Mew card out first, put the Leafeon aside. Because this is a very cool Mew of cards that I um, really, really want to collect all of them. Um, this is a so-called Mew Prime. I do believe from the um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver era of Pokemon. Really, really cool card. The Prime cards, they're actually pretty affordable still, given their age. I guess they're not as popular, but I really like them. The border reminds me of these old-school EX cards, and the Pokémon themselves also look pretty cool. Man, this is such an old card too, I don't know if you can make that trademark out at the bottom. 2010 Pokémon. Whoa, that's such an old card. It's still in pretty good shape given its age, yeah, look at that. Looks pretty clean, right? And it's a Mew card, so that's worth double the amount. Very, very nice. And here is the last evolution that I need for my collection. At last. Um, I don't think I ever thought the last evolution that I would be buying would be the Leafeon VMAX, although this is probably my least favorite out of all the VMAX ones. 
Um, still, the, oh, by the way, I, did, I keep forgetting to tell you the prices. So for this Mew Prime, I paid 50 euros. And for this Leafeon VMAX right here, I paid 135 euros. But man, okay, I wasn't a fan at first, but seeing it in person, especially with the texture back in the sky right here, you can probably make that out on the video. Yeah, this does look pretty cool, eh? I wouldn't say it's suddenly growing to be my favorite one, but I definitely rated it too low when I did my my um, rating for all the alternate arts from the Sword and Shield era. Man, okay, so seeing a card in person versus seeing it on the screen is one heck of a difference, eh? And this one is a very, very cool difference to be able to see, finally. Right, the Leafeon V makes us put the Leafeon V right here. And there we are! That was my mail day! Really, really cool. As I've said, I finally got to finish my Eeveelution page. Actually, tell you what, tell you what, I'll put all of these in my binder, and then I guess I'll just record a small video of me showing off the binder page of the Eeveelutions. So just hang tight. Alright, and here we are with the binder finally done with this page of alternate arts. Man, that feels good. That that feels good. Um, I do have the EVGX, you know. A lot of these cards were actually featured in previous mail days. I do believe the EVGX is one of them. I think the only cards that really weren't featured in, in any mail days um, are the original three. Um, they are V and VMAX variants. Uh, but I think all of these were either featured in a in a mail day, other than the Umbreon, of course. Other than the Umbreon. Um, but I guess that does it. Let me just close off the binder right here, still using this one. Well, but I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace. Take care.